Understand your reduced retirement benefits with less than 30 years of service. Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today we're going to gear this towards those railroaders that are going to you know retire with less than 30 years of service okay so you know maybe you came in late to the industry or perhaps you came in early and left early so uh, you just you don't have the 30 years of uh, railroad service which is which is really a key number and you can go through all my videos to explain why that's a big number so what what kind of um, uh, discounts or penalties you might say if you uh, uh, retire from the railroad with, uh, without the 30 years of service and before your full retirement age, right? So we're talking about age reductions, right? So everything's based off your full retirement age. So let's, let's kind of walk through this and hopefully this will give you. So um, what we want to talk about is uh, full retirement age. So if you're born 1960 or later, your full retirement age is 67. All right, and basically uh, anybody born from 1954 before, uh, it's 66, from 43 to 54 is 66. So anybody between 54 and, and 1960, they just go by a couple months. You could be 66 in two months, 66 in four months, eight months, you get the idea, right? So that's your full retirement age. So it's always important to understand your full uh, retirement age. Now. What's the earliest that you can start collecting your uh, railroad retirement annuity uh, if you have less than 30 years? And that's at age 62, otherwise known as the annuity begin date, right? That's an important number. So you can always retire. You can retire at 58, 59, right? So people say, oh, I'm retiring. Well, you can't collect your annuity, which is the annuity begin date, if you have less than 30 years till 62. And once again, the annuity, we're talking about the tier one and tier two portion of your annuity. All right, so that kind of tells you, it gives you a little background. Now let's look at what kind of uh, uh, discounts that you would have to take if you want to retire uh, early. So the employee reduction, okay, so f we'll just say 1960 or later uh, is, and your full retirement is 67. If you retire at 62, 30% is going to be reduced off your tier one and tier two amounts, okay? And then obviously it, it's, uh, oh, this is, I'm sorry, this should be 25%. Uh, this is a 25% reduction on uh, those uh, before 1954 and beyond. All right, so that's that. Now, you remember, for those railroaders that are married, right, you'll have a spousal age reduction. Their reduction is a little bit higher. Now remember also, spouses can't collect their uh, retirement annuity until you, the railroader retires, all right? So their discount, if they want to turn theirs on at 62, right, um, based off the age again, is a 35% uh, discount. So that's a little bit bigger, and then it's 30% here. So those are really important numbers to understand. Now, uh, it doesn't go 35% and then full retirement age, so every month, you know, and I didn't want to get into the math, but every month that reduction gets smaller, okay? So, and then as you get to your full retirement age, uh, and that's when you start your annuity, right? So it doesn't like, oh, I started my 62, maybe it will be less at 62 in one month, 60. No, once you start it, that number's set in stone, and that's it, all right? Unless you turn off your annuity, that number's going to be with you for the uh, rest of your railroad retirement. All right, so let's just go through an example of a reduction. So let's say a railroader here is going to have tier one of $3,000 a month and tier two at $1,500 at full retirement age, okay? So that's $4,500 a month coming in, right? Good retirement there. But if they say, well, I, I'm going to leave at 62 instead, which is their annuity begin date, right? That $4,500 goes down to $3,150, which is a 30% a reduction and that number will be that that number will only change because of inflation they'll adjust it every year based off inflation uh, but that that's the that's the baseline going forward okay that's it so uh, you only get one uh, I guess one shot at uh, picking it really to tell you the truth of when you want to retire uh, so 67 would be 4500 62 is 3150 and if you go hey 63 64 it's going to be somewhere in between there all right and you can do the math on that so uh, i hope you found this uh video helpful 
really reach out to me if you're especially if you're nearing retirement go through that boarding for retirement process we got it you really got to find out what that number is going to be if you're going to really plan a successful retirement all right so uh you know reach out to me on that and we'll, we can go through that also subscribe to my youtube channel click on the notification bell get the latest video channel's been doing great past 3,000 subscribers very 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 excited about that so until next time everyone please stay safe stay on track and take care so long everybody bye